we're now going to have a look at pop-ups. Yes. Something that I think most anglers tend to have at some time or other in their fishing career. Can you tell me a little bit more about these, please? Yeah, we've had, we've had these uh, specifically made for us. Uh, they come in three different colours. We've, they come in yellow, pink and white. But also we do a, mix, a mixture as well. But they come in mackerel, tuna, squid and crab flavours. Now, when, they actually, when we actually had them made, they're actually made, the flavour is actually incorporated into the mix, not sprayed on afterwards, uh, which does happen with some, some companies. Um, there's 20 in a pot, so, and they're, they're, these are 22 mils, and extremely, extremely buoyant. Okay, so you, you mentioned that they're buoyant. When would someone use a pop-up? Pop-up, you can actually use it to sit on top of, on top of a, a line of, uh, of pellets or even in, in, uh, in baits, in um, um, fish sections. You can actually use that or even inside the fish to actually help, help it ri rise. So you're lifting I, your bait Like squid, okay. so you're lifting your bait up. You can actually even, uh, by using multiple uh, pop-ups, you can actually lift uh, y number of pellets up so you can actually create like a wafter for catfish you can actually even um, do do a zig rig for, for catfish specifically with, with, with pellets but using uh, pop-ups as the buoyancy aid okay so you would incorporate a pop-up yep these can be trimmed down to, they to can the be trimmed size. to what so you can actually make it critically balanced but the, the other benefit of actually having a pop-up is that if for you say you're using pellets and the pellets obviously over a period of time will dissolve, you can rest assured that you still have a bait of some sort attached to your hook. Okay, and you would use the, so one pop-up with maybe two to four um, small pellets? Yes, 20 pellets? yeah, 20 mil pellets, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and if for you say you want, you want to use more, um, use use two or three, or even four uh, pop-ups, and it's amazing what what that difference will make. Um, they are they are a high vis. Um, specifically, we use yellow um, mainly because we believe that it's more attractive to uh, the catfish. They can actually see it better. So obviously, all the pop-ups have an inbuilt uh, um, an aroma. Yes. This obviously will fade over a period of time. Can these also be um, be reused? You can reuse them um, and ref you can re re reflavour them uh, even. Um, so soak them maybe in a matching glug? Yes. So not only do we have the circular pop-up but we also have a 28 mil dumbbell, is that correct? Yes, yes. And that comes in a different flavour altogether. That comes out in an oily cr uh, crustacean uh, flavouring. But that is actually designed um, to actually help and raise pellets. Uh, so I, I, instead of, for argument's sake, say you're using a necklace, block rig, whatever you want to call it, instead of them lying flat on, on the deck, you can actually make them rise. So I, um, one, uh, 20, one, one of our dumbbells will actually raise four and six, will actually make them stand up. Uh, if you put two on, again, you, it'll make, but it also it'll make eight or 10 uh, pellets stand up on end, but also with the smaller numbers, if you only use for argument's sake four, two uh, dumbbells uh, will actually raise raise it off the deck, so it'll actually rise up to your hook length. 